Okay, so I wanted to show you the solution I came up with for not having a backup camera in my Ram 2500. So I found these um, Wolfbox rear view cameras that go on your rear view mirror. And I decided to buy two of them because this one, like you can see here, mounts onto my rear view mirror. Um, and it's mounted up here in the back of my cab right there above my window. And it gives you a great view. I know this might be kind of hard to see, but it gives you a great view of what's behind you. And you can actually move up and down. So like right here, I can see really good it's what's inside my bed. And then, you know, you can zoom all the way up here. So and it gives you a good field of view of what's behind you. And you can access it while you're driving. Um, so I really like this. The only thing is it doesn't give me a view of my rear bumper and my hitch. Which when you're hooking up to trailers, it's really nice to have a camera, especially if you're hooking up by yourself a lot. So I decided to get another one and mount it here on my dash. And this one is kind of more of a traditional, traditional backup camera. Uh, I don't even know if you can see that, but right here's my hitch. Um, and same thing with this one, you can zoom up and down. Um, that's the front facing camera which I don't really plan to use, the front-facing camera. I'll probably just leave this one right here so that when I go to back up, I can just turn it on. And then when I'm just driving around, I can hit this button here and just have it turned off. The con to having this uh, mirror as a camera is I didn't really think about it, but this is also actually a mirror. So I do see my reflection when I'm driving. So far, it really hasn't been a hindrance at all because uh, it is relatively tinted but I don't know it does kind of bug me a little bit um, and I do have it tilted down as much as possible to prevent any kind of glare if I had any kind of sun coming through the back window but as of yet I've had it for almost a week it hasn't really bugged me yet I paid $116 a piece on Amazon there was like a spring sale so I decided what the heck I'll buy two of them um, if I were to go to factory route and try and buy like a factory setup, I think it was like just under $800 by the time you paid for shipping and all that. So that was really expensive and I didn't want to pay that much money for a camera. But I'll keep you updated on these cameras and whether or not they last. Um, that's kind of my only worry is how much life am I actually going to get out of these. And... I'll just show you right here when I hooked this one up. So I actually just notched out this little piece of the plastic and fed the wires down through my console. Um, and then just over here and then down through the uh, emergency brake or parking brake grommet that's right here on the floor. And then I ran it back to the rear of the, of the truck. It did take me a while to uh, wire this up. It did probably take me a few hours to do it by myself. It wasn't super hard, it just did take some time, uh, you know, crawling underneath the truck and everything. All right, so I kind of wanted to just give you a view of uh, these cameras I got set up for when I'm driving. So this one here is basically my regular backup camera is what you'd call it. Um, it's one I'm gonna use to hook up to trailers and whatnot to my bumper. Um, you can see it there. So right now we have the C-Force on the back and you can see my rear view mirror uh, gives you kind of a over the bed angle so I decided to go with these two cameras uh, because obviously I didn't have a factory backup camera um, and if I went with just the rear view mirror camera it wouldn't really solve the the problem of backing up to trailers so I decided to buy another one and stick it on my dash and have it be kind of my dedicated backup hookup camera and then this one in the future if I decide to ever upgrade to like a fifth wheel or something like that or if I just ever want to keep an eye on something I have strapped down in my bed um, I can use that camera there and they do uh, scroll up and down the image does it does not zoom in or out um, but the scroll feature is kind of handy. Um, I have my son with me in the back, so. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, so far I like them. I've only had them now for, uh, I'm trying to think, two weeks, two, going on three weeks I've had them. But they work pretty good. Um, as long as you're not like driving in the rain or anything, the rear view camera works well at night. Uh, you get a lot better field of view. Well, you get a better field of view anyways, but at night it's particularly nice. So, anyways, this is just kind of what they look like, um, you know, driving down the road. I don't even know if you can really see them. They do have good picture quality. That's one reason why I bought these is they do have 4K quality. So, so far so good. I like them.